Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Now on my back, this is the F-I-L-B-E rucksack. You guys are familiar with this. This is a big old military rucksack. Now I want you all to keep this military pack in mind while we talk about this product right here. This is the Modular Sleep System Pouch. This is made by the London Bridge Trading Company and the name of this is the LBT 6130A pouch. This pouch was designed to be used with the FIL BE rucksack and other rucksacks for the sake of carrying your modular sleep system. Just in case you don't know, the modular sleep system is a US military sleep system. Multiple sleeping bags, Gore-Tex bivy, and it's a huge system. It takes up a ton of space and that is why you have this product here. This pouch is a compression bag and it attaches to PALS and Molly webbing. So when this is used by soldiers, they mount this to the outside of their pack, to the FILBE pack, and they put their sleep system inside of it. The pack is on and so is the pouch. Because of the design of the rucksack itself, the pouch is not right up against your butt. So you still have full range of movement. You could walk, you could run, you could do anything that you need to do. Now this pouch can be mounted to the top of the pack, but the modular sleep system is not lightweight and neither is this pouch. This pouch weighs in at roughly three pounds. So add the sleeping bags, the bivy and so on. It can be quite a bit of weight. You may not want that on top of your backpack. In general, you want that down below. Attaching this pouch and removing it is very simple because it was designed to work with this pack. So as you can see on the back side here, you have four straps for attaching to Molly and Pal's webbing. Up above, you have a plastic ID cover, large section of Velcro here. You have four compression straps and buckles. The lid rolls back. And as you can see, you have access to the contents of the pouch itself. You have a drawstring closure, barrel lock, and a ton of space. Now, as you all can see, I am not using the modular sleep system for this video. And that's because my system is actually drying right now. I recently went on an overnight adventure and used the system and boy, does it smell like smoke, campfire smoke. Slept right next to a fire and it stinks so bad that Susan made me wash it. The inside of this pouch is very nondescript. It's just a large size pocket. Now this was designed to be used with the modular sleep system, but it can be a GP pouch, general purpose. This is without a doubt a rarity. You can find this on eBay from time to time. The price is usually from 20 to 30 bucks if you can find it. Usually once a month, somebody will list one of these. These are very hard to find, highly sought after pieces of kit for multiple reasons. First off, the quality is awesome on this thing. It really is very, very good. London Bridge Trading Company makes fantastic gear, also known as LBX, London Bridge Tactical. The material is very thick, at least 500 denier Kodura. It may even be a thousand. It is reinforced on the bottom, very strong. This thing is somewhat stiff because of the higher quality materials. When it comes to London Bridge Trading Company, this is their coyote color, but it has a green tint to it. So your eyes are not deceiving you and no, there's not a problem with the camera. Their coyote does have a little bit of green. As you all can see, it doesn't fully match up color-wise with the FILBE pack. So that pretty much wraps it up, everybody. What do you guys think about this pouch? It is definitely unusual. It's very cool. Very well thought out, excellently made, excellent quality, excellent material. If you can find this, in general, the pricing is very good. Now this came out roughly 2007. Now with this being 2018, the end of 2018, these are really becoming hard to find. I do not know when these were discontinued and other than eBay, I have not seen these offered anywhere. eBay is your best shot if you're interested in one of these. Guys, gals, let me know if you have any questions by emailing me. Until next time, strength and honor. Yeah, it looks like the snow's beginning to lift a little bit. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but it has been spitting just a little bit of snow all morning here at Lone Wolf Mountain. Yeah, see you guys.